Hey guys, what's up? This is Russian Alex Productions again. Um, today I want to show you a tutorial, a very simple but effective tutorial. Uh, it's basically going to be, as you guys see in the title, a cinematic fly-in. Now this could be any object. You see here I have a skeleton that I modeled before. It's a 3D model made in Cinema 4D. But this can be any object you desire, whether it's 3D text imported or exported from Cinema 4D. Um, to a picture, so it's really it's a really simple effect, and I just want to show you it because you will need this in your editing. For example, if you want to edit a montage and you want an introduction to the montage, it's a really really cool effect. So this effect is going to look like this. So, right here. Sorry for the lag, guys. It's a little bit laggy. And you, just, you can see the blur at the end. Okay, right here. Okay, cool. So, let's get started, shall we? Let's make a new composition, new project. Now, for this project, you will need a PNG image, which I have one right here. And you will need a background picture. For example, if you want clouds or rain or snow, you can actually simulate it. But for for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show you a still picture that's just going to represent the background. And I have one right here. I'm going to drag it into my Adobe After Effects. Now, as you can see, let's make a new composition by dragging into here. And then put the smoke here. You see the smoke is behind the text. I mean behind the skeleton. That's how it's supposed to be. But if for example if you want the smoke to be in the front, which you don't in this case because the skeleton is not gonna uh, be visible, you want to put it behind the skeleton. Now you want to you want to press control shift to zoom it in so it's all even on each side. And then it's zoomed in like so. Now for this for this um project you will need motion blur not not motion blur but Gaussian blur I like to call it, I like to use it a lot so what you need to do actually before we start any kind of effect we need to enable this layer as a 3d layer now you guys might have something here that's um, it's going to enable a 3d layer but I usually do like this to make sure right click click on 3D layer and you have all these um, XYZ directions now when you motion track the direction you want the position and the Z rotation it depends where you want the object to move for this tutorial I want it to move front and back so the, re the viewers eye will see it very close blurry and then go back into the distance so what you have to do is put a keyframe like so and drag the Z position as far up as you can as far to close to you as you can maybe a little bit off the screen so it kind of doesn't even pop up because remember it has to glide into the screen so a little bit off the screen like so now remember that you will have to change it soon so give it 30 frames which is half of a second uh, 31 frames and put another keyframe for the Z rotation and the position and make it a little bit less than you did before so you can actually see it for example I put 1, 000, negative 1618 and you can see the picture right here now you can actually move it so for example once one and a half seconds you want it to be further in the in the distance so what you want to do is do this drag it drag it drag it and then say by the end you want it to be very far away so you can barely barely see it so what you have to do is just click on 
Z position and then just drag it further and further and further away. Now remember guys, this can be 3D text exported from Cinema 4D into Adobe After Effects or any kind of image or PNG file, but it has to be a PNG file uh, for this effect to work properly and be very effective. So, as I made my picture kind of zoom out and be distant and more distant as it's, as the frames go by, you can see that right here it's not even on the screen because it needs to be a 3D effect. So, now, here's where the, the blur comes in. If you want this effect to be very realistic, you need to put Blur and, uh, go to Blur and Sharpen, Effects, Blur and Sharpen, and then the best kind of blur, Gaussian Blur. Now, close this, you don't need it anymore, Gaussian Blur, open it up. Now, look at where you see the object fly in, which is right here. You can, uh, whatever, just look at the object. Set the Gaussian Blur, set a keyframe. Remember, you're going to put this keyframe all the way in the in the beginning. I just want to see how the object looks when it flies in. And you can make the blur to whatever your heart, heart desires. The blurrier, the better. Now, in the other tutorials, you see that uh, a lot of blur messes everything up, but not in this tutorial, because this blur is going to be for less than a second. So, as you can see, I, I put like 21.4, somewhere around 20. Drag it all the way to be, to the beginning. So when the object comes in, it is blurry, as you can see. Now, say you want the object to lose its blur at like one second. What you have to do is keyframe again, so it makes a keyframe, and then move the blur maybe, let's say, three. Now you see the blur changes. It's still blurry, blurry but it's not as blurry because it's going further into the distance, into further behind. Now, say right here you want the object to be zero blur completely. Press zero. Now, starting from right here, make another keyframe. Starting from here to the end, you want it to blur again. So what you can do is go to the end, make a keyframe, and put it to as, as high as you want it to. Once again, it makes a cool like shadow kind of look when you put it up to 90 so I recommend you put it in 90 because it's very cool looking put it to 90 and there you go we have our object now what I did in the video that I showed you I put a special blur here also to my other uh, layer which is the smoke picture I did Gaussian blur again and then at the end from like three and a half seconds maybe yeah three and a half seconds I made the Gaussian blur zero from zero then I went to the end and I put the keyframe up to maybe let's say 16.3 16 somewhere around that so as you can see while the skeleton is getting blurred out also the smoke is getting blurred out at the end of the clip and that's pretty much it guys Thank you for watching. This has been Russian Alex Productions, and uh, I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.